then have not been refinished, but they look pretty good. Except this big gash in the middle. Nice fireplace. This house is in Park Circle. It's between Charleston Farms and Park Circle. Um, actually, in North Cameron Terrace. It has 1,485 square feet, four bedrooms, one bath. They are asking $327,900. The reason I came to look at it is it's been on the market for a while, since November of 2018. This is February of 2019, and that's an unusual length of time for a nice house that's listed right. My guess is that it's extremely overpriced, but we'll see. I'll have to look at the comps to find out. Um, big living room, big dining room that you are looking at. Very dark kitchen even with the light on. Okay, that's the only light in the kitchen that's working. Um, now I've looked at the lights, I can't really see. This is a laminate countertop. This is Mm -hmm. Nope, a vinyl floor makes it look like hardwood. It's a big kitchen, but a lot of it is this wall of cabinets and um, shelves. I guess a built-in china cabinet. And this house was built in 1959. It's got the same cabinets as the houses we've looked at late, lately that were built around 1960 that I guess people don't want to cover with paint. Um, dark paneling. Where would the, ref oh, the refrigerator's there? Small refrigerator. Okay. Then we come through the kitchen to a little hallway. And a pink bathroom. I'm guessing original. It's pink and gray tile on the floor, pink on the walls with gray trim. Matching soap dishes. They should have bought a new sink. Okay, that's the only bathroom in the house. For a $327,000 house, this floor looks like they did something with it. Oh, these old, aggravating, sliding closet doors. I'm starting to see why it's, why it's still on the market. It's got some good features, but... Some pretty bad ones too. Linen closet. Another bedroom. Also with the sliding doors. These doors actually look like they're new. Bedroom. None of these bedrooms so far have been very large. Nor have the closets been very large. They were 
must be another bedroom behind this door. No, that is the unit there. Okay, so that was one, two, three. There's three bedrooms. Okay, let's see what surprise they have in store that they're calling a fourth bedroom. And here we are. It's got the same vinyl that looks like wood on the floor. And it has a closet, so it's a bedroom. It has no closet doors. And it has dark paneling and brick for walls. And a window that they just put a board in. This is not a $327,000 house, people. It's just not. Now we're going to go outside and see what else this house has in store for us. We have a uh, laundry room. Laundry room outside. And we have the roaring sound of, I don't know if that's 526 or probably 526, Highway 526. And I do think that you can get used to that noise. It becomes like white noise, but it's right there. Um, looks like a nice place to have a family reunion. If you can yell over the road noise. This is a picnic shelter. I think they were thinking of it as a parkour. And there's a building here that I'm not going into. Kind of a workshop building. Mm. It's got a broken window, so I can't be sure that. Lovely tree. This beautiful tree. Blooming in February. In the blue sky. In a magnolia tree. And the yard is mostly fenced. And it looks like. They have a greenhouse back there behind the fence. And that wouldn't be anybody else's property because it would belong to the state. So, hmm. what could they have been growing in that greenhouse? Another thing we noticed about this house, and it's not proper for me to video other people's signs, but there are three houses out of four in this little square that are all for sale. Next door, across the street, and this one. at another house in the park circle area um, and we just noticed there's a train going by right across the street okay as we entered this house the floors look nice original hardwood a few little gaps in between this house is listed for 218,000. It is 1,050 square feet, three bedrooms and one and a half baths, built in 1955. It's the kitchen where they put 
ceramic tiles for the countertop and black backsplash. I'm trying to get my cameraman not to be shooting other people's business cards. And cheap cabinets. This gas stove from a distance doesn't look bad, but up close it's um needs cleaning for one thing. Um, the floor is a little wonky, a lot wonky. This appears to be an addition. Be careful, cameraman. You can see the outside underneath the door. That is an inside door. We have laminate flooring that's been torn up on an uneven floor. Little closet. That's one bedroom. Right here we have a very tiny, tiny place for a washing machine. Very tiny. And that's where your dryer would go. Mm, smells lovely in here. Let's go find the other bed. This would be the green room. feel as unstable in here, but it's slanted. It's kind of rolling now. Um, closet comes to about there. It's an old house. This is how they built the old houses. Small closets. Linen closet. And another bedroom. I wonder how they kept this floor intact with it being so uneven. So this is a surprisingly large closet that comes to about here. And this would be the bathroom. Somebody got fancy with their tiles down here. Oh, heavens. It's like cotton candy underneath the shower. And that's the only place to take a bath in this house. Um, but we've got to find the other bathroom. There's a half bath. I think we had some DIY home remodelers here. And again, the asking price on this house is $218,000. So it's like $170,000 less than the most expensive one we looked at. Um, but that doesn't make it worth $218,000. Then we have this nice door going outside. untreated deck, which there was one of these on my house when I bought it, and I went through it one day. Nice birds. Just goes to t show you birds will live anywhere. Got 
got three different kinds of fencing, a new privacy fence, an old privacy fence, and a chain one. All belonging to neighbors, I would guess. Let's go back inside, cameraman. We don't want to eat on this TV. Okay, the first thing we noticed about this house is it's on a very busy street, but it is leading to Park Circle. That's the um, Park Circle right up ahead there. The actual circle on Park Circle. After the traffic, the first thing I noticed is this really cute one-car garage and a pretty tree up above it. I love big trees. nice shady backyard. Not huge, but big enough. Got the cute playground equipment. Okay, as we come inside this house that's on the busy street, so I'm going to close the door. It's on a busy street, but it's easily within walking distance of the park at Park Circle. Um, looks like original floors but they replaced some boards in the floors and did not manage to get them to match the rest of the floor. Which also makes me think, yep, the floor under here is soft. Well, no sign of the problem there, but looks like they had something going on there at one time. Um, The sink is fabulous, and I'm guessing an antique, but it needs to be repaired. And most average people wouldn't know how to repair this sink, but my son has a business where he repairs um, sinks, bathtubs, countertop ceramic tile. He's amazing. He's an artist at heart, but for a living he does things like this. He could make this look brand new. Kind of spacious in here. Huh. As I say that, I look at the square footage. <clears throat> this house is $236,000 and it is right at Park Circle. I mean, you could throw a rock to Park Circle. It's only 810 square feet, two bedrooms, one bath. The living area is kind of spacious. So let's see what's back here. Oh, this house was built in 1941. So this is older than the others by a few years. Interesting. This house has been listed since November 2018. It is now February 2019. Most houses that are priced well and look good sell very quickly in this market. And so I was curious as to why this one had not sold. Apparently, the person who had this bedroom needed closet space, and they did some interesting, creative ways to get it. Second bedroom seems to be about the same size. Can't wait to see the bathroom. I want to see what a 1941 bathroom looks like. Ah, not like this. I do not like open toilets. Um, so they upgraded the bathroom a bit. Some decent tall work here too. They could have caught a little better. 
But really, this is a kind of cute house. Um, drawbacks, the hardwood floor for sure. And um, they're calling the sink a vintage enamel farm sink. Has a new roof and a new water heater. And the garage is a reclaimed carriage house. No flood insurance required. This house has original hardwood floors. They have not been replenished. And while we're on original things, it has the original tile in the bathroom. It's really, actually really pretty. Kind of a pale yellow and black. And this is the only bathroom in the house. Three bedrooms. Oh, and a kitty. See, that's one advantage of having cats. These people are foster parents to cats and dogs, and they had to take their dogs, but the cats are like decorative items. <laughs> I hate to open closets when people live in the house. It's, um, closet that runs from here to not the whole way down to about here. And this is probably a linen closet. And another bedroom. Pretty closet doors. And this closet runs to there. My solid doors. That's kind of cute. And this would be the third bedroom. Nice views from the windows. And the same closet doors. These, these are pretty nice closet doors. the original kitchen cabinets from probably about 1965. Everything's very clean. And we can't go out there because some of their fosters are out there. I hear, oh, the dog in the kennel. They have lots of foster babies. Gas stove. Granite countertops. How about that? Okay. Another laminate. So for details, 1,200 square feet, three bedrooms, one bath, built in 1960, and asking 179.9. There was another house that sold on the street this year that has the same square footage. It also has three bedrooms, one bath, and it sold for one twenty three five. But I happen to know that was um, an estate sale, so there probably wasn't any fixing up on the inside. This one has that nice sunroom and a saltwater pool. Actually, the countertops look like granite. They're really very nice, but they are not granite. They are laminated. 
very, very good imitation. Okay, we're done.